what's going on with the Indians? It seems like you guys have flipped a switch. Can you describe uh, why you guys are, are playing so well of late, Francisco? <laughs> um, well, it's funny. You know, at the beginning of the year, everybody starts um, – with with that thought process of like are we gonna do it? Um the new guys they think am I am I gonna be able to stay here all year long? Um then you know you have guys coming up and down. Do I do I belong here? And that kinda of, that's kinda of how we were playing at the beginning. Some of the guys were you know, they, they didn't believe, they didn't they didn't think they, they belong and right now everybody knows they 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 belong. We all believe in each other. We back each other up, and and we enjoying the ride. We having fun, and we are playing how we we were supposed to play the game, the game of baseball. Give me a great example of why uh, Tito Francona is a good manager, and that he that everybody gels together under his stewardship, Francisco. Because he lets you do you. He uh, uh, he lets you play the game, and sometimes he, he even tells us, um, "Go do this, and if you mess up, don't worry. I'll tell I'll tell the media it was me." You know, like uh, <laughs> he protects us. He 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 makes it fun to play for him. He he lets us do us. And at the end of the day, you don't want to be playing with the uh, on the back of your head with something in the back of your head saying, "Well, oh, if I mess up, I might I might get sent down." You know, you don't want that. You don't need that because um, the game of baseball you have a lot of faith there already, and you don't want to add more pressure to yourself that you don't need. Can you give me give me an example of how he has let you be you at any point, whether it's uh, when you first came up or whether it's uh, right now as you're an established star of the game? How, how has uh, Tito Francona let you be you? Um, well, when I first I, I, I was I was struggling a little bit, and um, he he um, I popped up one time center field. Um, I didn't move the runner, and for some reason I didn't run. I, I didn't even make it to first base, and a pop up just to the field. I didn't get to move the runner because, and I was mad that I didn't hit a ground ball. And I'm like, I'm a professional baseball player. I should be doing this. And um, I come back to the dugout, and he, he looks at me, and he go, he he like kind of looks at me and says, "Wow," and, and I was like. And I looked at him, and I was like, man, I'm sorry. And then he later on, he sat, he sat me down. He's like, man, I have more meetings with you about running the bases than I have with the team all year long. All year long. And it's like, just fake it. Fake that you can run the base for once. And I was like, I was like all right, you know, I'll fake it. Don't worry, I got you. It won't happen again. You know, so it's just, he, he wasn't yelling at me. He wasn't getting on me. He was just telling me, like, that I don't talk to the team about running the bases, and I have to do it with you when you're 21. You know, like, and just and they, that just opened my eyes and said, "Well, he's a good guy. He's a good man. He lets me do me. He he's gonna back me up." Because he was telling the media that I was just a little tired, <laughs> and and um, he backed me up. And after that, I realized that he's gonna have my back no matter what. For more of The Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.